United States, U.S. President Joe Biden on Wednesday, 6 January 2022, announced a new military aid package for Ukraine amid Kiev's territorial losses to Russian troops in the Donbass. Among the heavy weapons in the package is the multi-launch rocket system, HIMARS, which can carry long-range missiles. Today, I am announcing a significant new security assistance package to provide timely and critical assistance to the Ukrainian military, Biden said. He explained, this new package will arm them with new capabilities and advanced weaponry, including HIMARS with battlefield ammunition, to defend their territory against Russian attacks. Pentagon added that the U.S. had placed HIMARS in Europe for fast delivery to Ukraine. The initial stage of HIMARS will be four. Under Secretary of Defense for U.S. Policy Colin Call later said the Pentagon had decided to comply with Kiev's request for advanced weaponry because the two-month conflict had become an artillery war. According to him, the HIMARS system has a greater range than the Russian multiple launch rocket system, MLRS. The M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS, is a powerful wheeled launch system that is seen as a lighter alternative to the older trackable M270 MLRS. HIMARS debuted in 2010 and is today built by defense giant Lockheed Martin. The launch trucks can carry six smaller rockets or one larger missile, with most of their ammunition interchangeable with those used by the M270. The main difference is that HIMARS is small enough to fit inside a C-130 transport aircraft, and can have targeting information fed to it by the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter's computer system. Biden said the U.S. would not provide Ukraine with weapons that could be used to attack Russian territory. Hamar's regular M-30 31st rockets can reach 42 miles away, but the weaponry is constantly being upgraded, with the massive MGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System, ATACMS, capable of striking targets up to 190 miles away. In October, test fire of the U.S. Army's Precision Strike Missile, PRSM, intended to replace the ATACMS, exceeded its anticipated maximum range of 310 miles. The shooting range is not arbitrary. Before the U.S. pulled out of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces INF, treaty in 2019, that was the maximum allowable range for a land missile the U.S. or Russia could develop. The treaty banned missiles with a range of between 310 and 3,420 miles, 500 and 5,500 kilometers respectively, after the U.S. stationed the Pershing-2 missile in Europe with a flight time to Moscow of just six minutes, dramatically increasing the risk of nuclear war. Within two weeks of the U.S. unilaterally leaving the INF Treaty, the U.S. began testing missiles that violate treaty parameters, including a ground-launched variant of the Tomahawk cruise missile capable of being fired by the Aegis Ashore system. Two such systems had been built in previous years in Romania and Poland, which Moscow protested but the U.S. assured they could only fire defensive missile interceptors. Removing the sites or allowing Russian inspections to verify their purely defensive nature is part of negotiations in early 2022 that precede Russia's special military operations in Ukraine. According to Russia, the weapon system threatens to cross the Kremlin's red line to defend security interests in the region. Another red line is Ukraine's ability to serve as a NATO base to attack Russian soil. It should be noted that the PRSM fired from the HIMARS system in the northeastern Ukrainian city of Shotka will be able to strike Moscow, the capital of Russia. This is why Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov denounced the U.S. giving the HIMARS system to Kiev as a form of direct provocation.